It's definitely true that when it comes to creating great content, gear is secondary to skill, but gear is still a substantial part of the equation. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you five pieces of gear I've picked up this month, and I'm going to show you exactly how it's going to be benefiting my blue collar clients. First up, we've got this beauty. So I've been shooting with a Canon R6 mirrorless camera since the beginning. It's a solid camera, but it's definitely built for photography first. Now this R5C is built for video. It shoots footage up to 8K, which means every single frame is the equivalent of a 33 megapixel image. That's a lot of resolution. But the biggest benefit is definitely the onboard cooling fan. That was the R6's biggest limitation, was heat dissipation. It could only shoot for about 15 minutes at a time, even less on hot days or in direct sunlight. This R5C can shoot indefinitely, which eliminates overheating disruptions during interviews. Now, previously I have shot with the 24 to 105 F4. Uh, the F4 indicates how much light is allowed through the, uh, through the lens to the sensor, but recent developments in mirrorless camera science have allowed the development of really cool lenses, namely this big old beastie. This is the 24 to 105 F2.8, which lets in twice as much light as the F4. Now, this results in creamy backgrounds, way better low light performance. This is gonna allow me to uh, shoot content without extra lighting early in the morning, later in the evening, and in dimly lit interiors. Now the uh, uh, new camera that I picked up runs off the exact same batteries as my old one, however it consumes way more power, and that means that it chews through batteries really quickly. This really isn't a bad thing as the expectation is kind of that most of the users of this camera are going to be using video rigs that include external power, which is exactly why I picked this up. Now this battery is freaking 99 watt hours of energy, which is the absolute maximum that you can legally take on an airplane. Now this is going to allow me to shoot for five, six, maybe even eight hours straight, depending on how busy the day is, assuming that I'm not using external accessories beyond the camera. Now, even the mighty Canon R5C only comes with this dinky little flip out screen, which it's, it's big enough to be serviceable, but it, it's not big enough to be ideal. Now that is why I picked up this bad boy. Now this is a five inch display that mounts to the top of my video rig and gives me a big screen to watch my recordings and keep things looking good. It's also way better and way brighter than the flip out screen. At a thousand nits, this is bright enough to be viewed in broad daylight. Next up, we have the Suray 35 and 75 millimeter anamorphic lenses. Anamorphic lenses are, oh my God, there's something else. These are the lenses that are used for filming those really widescreen movies. And they do that by squeezing more information into a 16 by nine uh, image, which in post you then de-squeeze to be even wider, uh, typically 2.4 to one. It gives you a really unique look. It gives you gorgeous background bokeh and really striking lens flares. The biggest con to anamorphic lenses is that they're almost exclusively fully manual, meaning autofocus isn't an option. But with the focus peaking on the monitor, I've been able to create some really unique looks and I'm gonna be making some really unique content for my clients. So thank you very much for listening to me nerd out about my job. Definitely stay tuned to see some of the cool content coming down the pipeline for my blue collar clients all around the country and definitely comment on this video with anything specific you'd like to see.